Hi everybody, my name is Julie Wild and I'm the Upper Elementary Counselor at the American School of Bombay. Wow, the last few days have been crazy, no? I don't know about you, but I've been bounced high and bounced low from my resilient zone so many times I've lost count. I've experienced a whole range of emotions too, from anxiety to frustration to relief. I've been all over the place. And I bet you have too. Just so you know, it's really normal to experience all of those emotions and many others during challenging times like these. Hang in there, friends. Today I wanted to remind you about a tool we've been using all year as part of our C Learning curriculum called grounding. Now I'm sure you students know exactly what I'm talking about, but some of your parents might be confused, so let me explain. Grounding means paying attention to the contact of your body with objects or the ground in order to return to or stay in the resilient zone. Over the past year, I've made a point of gathering as many different kinds of grounding objects as I could, just in case I need a little extra help. I even have a spinner ring that I wear almost every day to ensure that I always have something on me, just in case. But you don't have to buy a special piece of jewelry. You can find lots of things for free around your house, like fuzzy blankets, a watch, a nice smelling bar of soap, lots of things. The point is, you don't have to spend any money at all to find a grounding object that's right for you. Once you've decided on a grounding object that works, go to a quiet place and either close your eyes or soften your gaze. This helps you to tune out anything that might be happening around you so that you can better focus on sensations that are happening inside of you. We call this tracking. Try to track a sensation that is either pleasant or neutral. If you attend to that sensation consciously and give it a bit of space and time, it can deepen. This increases our nervous system sense of safety and brings about an even greater sense of well-being and relaxation in the body. I used this technique just yesterday when I felt overwhelmed at the thought of not seeing some close friends who are out of the country for a while. I said to myself, I feel really depressed. Then I grounded myself by feeling my feet on the floor and focusing on touching my spinner ring for a few minutes. Don't be surprised if feeling the positive effects of grounding takes a little time. And don't forget breathing exercises, resourcing and help now strategies can really work too. We'll be back to talk to you about those another time. For now, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe and go find a grounding object.